So I've had quite a few people ask what I use to build out the presentations in my YouTube videos and how I get them to look so good. Now the secret is I'm not using Keynote, PowerPoint, or Canva. I've actually discovered a powerful system using Claude Code where I can take any video idea or script and turn it into a beautiful presentation with just one prompt in a few seconds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my exact system so you can use Claude Code to build you out beautiful presentations in seconds. So here we are in Cloud Code in my project called Presentation Builder. Now this entire project is refined and systemized and set up in a way that makes building beautiful presentations as quick, easy, and simple as possible. And this essentially transforms Cloud Code into a master presentation designer. So it all starts with the Cloud MD file. And this Cloud MD file is really where all of the gold is. The prompt is, you are a professional presentation designer creating beautiful Apple-inspired HTML presentations for YouTube videos. The user provides scripts and content, and you transform them into stunning visual presentations. So there's everything in here from design philosophy. So like when something is bad, use red. When something is good, use green. Uh, different little nuanced you know, preferences that I have for my presentations. Uh, different formatting, copywriting, so like, you know, um, how to write the headlines, how to write subheadlines, how to do benefit lists and call to actions. So I have really refined this, uh, not only the design, but the copywriting as well. And so uh, I even have my audience on here, typography and copy, and basically giving as much context and getting as refined as I possibly can. And so I have did, I have done a um, example here. So like if the script says Opus 4.1 scored 74.5% on the software engineering benchmark, then write as good as a senior level developer. The most important thing first, subheadline 74.5% on the, senior, the software engineer benchmark. So this learns my language and the way that I like to present and you know it makes sure it, this ensures that it's putting the most important information in the headline of the slide so basically this is my professional assistant at building slides it knows my style and it's very good at design and copywriting as well and so what i do is i come over here to scripts and i throw a script in here in as a text file and so to show you an example i'm going to grab this script that i just generated uh, with claude as an example go ahead and copy this and I'm going to do a new file and I will do, let's see, what is the script called? Um, AI software business. Okay. We will just call this AI software business dot text. And I'll throw this in my scripts folder. Move this. Now in this style references folder, I have a plethora of different HTML design styles that I can have Claude choose and I can simply reference. And so there is everything in here from like an old pixelated video game style. And I even have like Apple minimal style to look like Apple is presenting, like their designers designed this presentation. I even have stuff like Cluely. That's a pretty popular software right now. And I like their website. So I told Claude to create me a style copying their website. But the sky is the limit with these styles. You can tell Claude to create whatever style you want. Or if you find a website, you can simply tell Claude to copy the style. And so all I have to do now is I can go back to Claude code. And I just, I just have to say, create me a presentation with my, uh, which was, what, what did I title the script again? AI software business. And I do at, so I just tag the script, AI software business script in the style of, and we'll just do Apple minimal. And I just run that. And Claude will create me a presentation using the script I've provided in the style that I've referenced. So one thing I forgot to do is actually paste the script into our text file. Uh, and Claude was having a hard time uh, creating our presentation because it said the script was empty. So make sure you do that. Let me paste this in and just go save that. And I will run that again. Okay, so Claude is done after that one prompt and created us a 23 slide presentation. So let's go see how it looks. So I will go back out to my finished presentations folder. And let's see, which one is it? Let me go to list and then today. AI software business, Apple. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. I can't complain, that looks pretty good. I mean, especially for one prompt. Yeah, and like I said, like a lot of these, what it does is based on preferences that I've told it. So I said anytime it's like in the past or outdated, use red. But today, the new opportunity, new solution, use green. I mean, guys, this looks pretty dang good. 
So like you even have animations for every single page. You have like big statistics. You have like um, urgency. It switches to black. And of course, you can refine this based on your preferences. That's what the Claude MD file is. And that's the beautiful thing about Claude code is you can s essentially turn it into like a general agent based on the instructions that you put in that Claude MD file. So yeah, that is pretty good. Uh, the only thing is I would say I would just increase the spacing on the bottom and top of this last slide here. But with one prompt, I mean, what more is there to say? With one prompt, we have a presentation that is ready to go, that formats, that's formatted well, that's designed well, that has all the most important attention-grabbing facts up front. And so, yeah, creating presentations is just now a matter of providing a script, going to our style references, and telling Claude to build it. Now, let's say you wanted to add an image to a slide. Well, all you would have to do is open up this assets folder, drop your image in there, and then just tell Claude to use it. So I have a screenshot here, and all I would have to do is put screenshot on slide four. So it's as simple as telling Claude which image to, which image to use and what slide to put it on. So just for fun, let's do one more. Um, I'll use the same exact script. So create me a presentation in, with the AI software business script in the style of, and let's go see, let's go pick out a style here. Um, let's just do old video game for fun. Old video game and go ahead and run that. Real quick, I actually put this whole project in a public GitHub repo so you can download it for free and start creating presentations right away. I've even included step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it and how to generate presentations. So all you have to do is come up here, click the arrow, download zip, and then import it into your Cloud Code project, and you can start creating beautiful presentations right away. So if you want this, just click the link down in the description below, and I'll send it to you for free. All right, Claude is done with that one, so let's go check it out. And honestly, this is the best part, just opening it up and seeing what Claude made. So nice. Yeah, looks like an old pixel video game. You even have like little buttons down here, like an arcade button. Press space to start. Let's go through. Yeah, looks like an old pixelated arcade game to me. You even have like, yeah, like little um, old video game, retro video game buttons. And it still follows our color coding with even some like nice little animations here if you hover over. But yeah, I don't know how often I would use this one just because it's a little bit more difficult to read. But I mean, the, the, the sky is the limit with this, guys. You can build literally any presentation, any style that you want. So I've refined this pretty extensively so it creates well-designed, well-copywritten presentations out of the box. But let's say you wanted to bring it closer to your style and you have different preferences that you want Claude to memorize. Well, all you have to do is come over to the Claude code chat and you type in hashtag and this brings Claude into memorize mode. And all you have to do is put like, maybe let's say you want a progress bar at the top for every presentation. So you would put include a progress bar at the top for every single presentation. And you would press enter, and this would actually add this to the Claude MD file. And you can do all sorts of stuff. Let's say you only want lists of three and not four. Well, you would type that in too, and only ever do lists of three, three, not four. So whatever you want, whatever your preference is, all you have to do is tell Claude and that Claude MD file is the compass, is kind of the master guide to guide Claude. And so the more you find that, the better results that you're going to get. But like I said, I've included the GitHub link for this below. So all you have to do is download it, add it to your project, open it up in Claude code, and you are ready to go. So thank you so much for joining me in today's video. It was a quick one, but I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please consider liking and sub subscribing below for plenty more Claude code and AI coding content. But thanks again for joining me, and I'll see in the next one.